What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and another Elden Ring video. Now today I'm taking your asses to art school, no joke. We're going to be looking at the locations of all seven the paintings and their artists which are found in the open world. These offer up unique items at each one of these seven locations. And as mentioned, the idea is that firstly you will find the painting. The painting will represent some area on the map from the artist's vantage point. And then the second part of the painting location will be us actually going to that location and then finding the item. Now, the first one we're going to start off with is actually called Homing Instinct, and it is in Limgrave. So right kind of near where you start, the easiest way to actually get to it would be this is, of course, the, the, the location of the painting. And uh, the easiest way for us to get there is to start at this waypoint here, Murkwater Coast. And then all we're going to do is we're going to mount up and we're going to jump up here. We're actually looking to go that way. We'll get across here. Just sort of make our way up. And again, like I said, what we are looking for is actually this little hut here. Now you can already see the painting in the distance here. And just to once again confirm this artist shack right here is the location of the first painting, Homing Instinct. Now, once we actually find this, then as mentioned, the next step is for us to go and find where the actual painting location is. So the area that this painting shows is actually just a little bit more south. And it's around about there where I put the one. For me, the easiest was to spawn at the seaside ruins. But it could be that you only have this waypoint or that waypoint. And then you can sort of just ride around. But we'll go ahead and start from here. Now, of course, what you get as a reward from this is something called the incantation scarab which is a helm that helps you deal more damage with incantations. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then uh, definitely have a look at that. I don't know why I just made that little run around there. But nonetheless, as you get close to these, you'll see usually the artist chair with the artist inside will appear like that. And that's how you know you're at the right place. So once you come close like this, then it's actually going to show you the item and it's going to be right there. And we're going to get to pick that up. And then we're done. That's the first painting, done. Our second painting called Prophecy is actually located in Stormvale Castle. And the easiest way to get to it is just to teleport to the left side chamber waypoint, which gives you this. You simply run out the door here, go to your right down these stairs. There's usually a couple of enemies here you have to deal with. And then you simply turn right in here and you'll notice the painting right here. And that's your second painting, Prophecy. Now the Prophecy image location is actually far further south from there. So it's actually behind the Church of Pilgrimage, right about there where I pinged it. Now, if you don't have the Church of Pilgrimage waypoint, of course, the easiest is just to travel from south of the Lookout Tower and just follow this path all the way up. And that's going to basically get you right there. Now, if we are standing inside the church, we can simply run around to the back, as mentioned. And that's where we're going to find the artist sitting. Now, the reward you get for this is the Warhawk Ashes, which is a summon that you can use. So we simply walk up to him he's gonna disappear and we can get our item and that is prophecy done our third painting is called resurrection and for this we're again going to an artist shack this time located over here on the map right where i'm standing so again if you don't actually have the site of grace you can simply ride up from the bottom up here but essentially what you're looking for is another artist shack as mentioned and the painting is right on the inside of it and that's the location of the actual painting. Now, the location of Resurrection's artist, however, is all the way up here past Korea Manor. So the closest waypoint for me is behind Korea Manor. And the artist is going to be kind of like over here sitting in a graveyard. But if you don't have that waypoint, you uh, if you do carry a manor, obviously it culminates in a boss fight over here in the Royal Moon Gazing Grounds. And then you simply ride out there and around. And that's how you get to it. But starting us off there from the side of Grace, as I mentioned... What we're looking for is a graveyard that sits kind of like tucked away to the right here. This whole area is basically one big graveyard. But more specifically, the artist we're looking for is going to be sitting behind this sort of clutch of uh, uh, rocks here. So you can see him sitting right over here. Now, what we're going to get from this is the juvenile scholar cap. And we're going to get the juvenile scholar robe. And we're also going to get a larval tear, which allows us to respec. So there we go. There's our cap, our robe, and a larval tear. Our fourth painting is called Redmain, and as you can infer from that name, the location is actually in Kaled. 
So it is within Celia Town of Sorcery. If you don't have the Celia Understair Waypoint or Side of Grace that I'm standing at here, the easiest way to get it is essentially to spawn here at the Caled Highway South. And then you essentially just ride into the town from the south like this going north. And there's a bunch of enemies and things hanging around but eventually you get this waypoint now you actually go past the painting on the way to the waypoint so if you are at the waypoint where i was just now you simply ride back into the town and just around the corner here you'll notice the painting is right here now this area is infested with enemies so do be careful some of them are cloaked and will attack you but that is the location of the painting now the red main artist location is actually still within Kaled and kind of sits down in a drop down area around here where i've pinged now the closest place for me there was taking the fort farath connection but this is one of the more difficult ones and you'll understand as i walk you through it so it requires a little bit of platforming especially using the horse which might take a little bit of practice but it uh, it's actually not all that hectic and if you follow the route that i'm going to show you here it should be relatively easy for you to get so the first thing you have to do of course is you have to actually get down here so we're just going to go ahead and jump over here and there's actually going to be a way for us to get down here with one of these wind funnels so we're just going to use that to actually get one level down there we go and then what we're trying to do is we're trying to go down this cliff side here by using these roots and what we're trying to do is we're trying to get all the way to the bottom now you might take a little bit of damage as you go down but that's okay if you follow this route that i'm doing here you should be fine if you feel more comfortable doing this without the horse that's obviously an option for you but i guarantee you once you actually have it practiced with the mount it's going to be easier for you to actually do and again we're just kind of like making our way down like this and we're relatively close to being to the bottom already now beware there's a skeleton to my right there that is actually going to engage you if you get close enough however you are going to be able to loot the item from the artist without actually getting too close to him as we walk over to the side here you should see the artist appearing right here and this is of course the artist location for red main now this gives us an ash of war rain of arrows as you can see there our fifth painting is called champion song and is located all the way up here near an area called the shaded castle now if you don't have this specific side of grace shaded castle ramparts which is where i'm going to start from the easiest way to do this is to spawn up here at Earth Tree Gazing Hill or maybe the Grand Lift of Dectus or the Altus Highway Junction and essentially just ride this canyon all the way up to the Shaded Castle. However, once you get to the castle and you unlock this waypoint, getting to the painting is super easy. You simply turn around, you go down the stairs, go all the way around here. There are going to be some perfumer enemies walking around here, so of course deal with them any way you see fit. And then what you're looking to do is you're looking to go down here and sort of just through this little area here we're going to go up the stairs here and our painting is going to be right in front of us right here so this is of course the champion's song painting now our champion's song artist location is actually sort of within the same area again uh what we're looking for is kind of like here where i pinged and the closest side of grace to that is the rampart side path if you are ever don't have this you have some of the other ones here like bridge of inequity or maybe road of inequity or anything like that the idea is simply just to ride around like this and just follow the path and you can get to this quite easy so once you are actually standing here our artist is up on that cliff over there and the easiest way to get to that is just to ride around the lip to the front here and then just sort of double back and we get to it now this is actually going to give us the harp bow and i'm just riding around here we're just looking for a nice place where we can get up someday soon there we go and as we get closer here we're going to see the artist sitting on one of these sort of rocks here well just in front of us actually and again like i said this gives you the harp bow our second last painting called uh, flightless bird is actually located within the capital and more importantly it's literally right in front of this fortified manor first floor side of grace but i'm gonna go ahead and assume that you don't have this so again if you have this side of grace it's literally right there you simply just teleport to that and it's going to be right in front of you as you stand up but let's assume you don't have that one and the only one you have is the west capital rampart so starting from this point here essentially all you want to do is just get down to ground level so we're just going to drop down here 
gonna go around the corner here There's gonna be a couple of enemies that might take a couple of pot shots at you but that's fine just gonna run down here and down here and this is the building that i'm talking about the cathedral or whatever if you want to call it that and we're just gonna go into the front doors and we're gonna run to the back door the back right door and we're gonna go in here we're gonna go left and we're gonna take a right and this is exactly the fortified manor first floor side of grace and the paintings location is right here and this is of course flightless bird now the artist location for flightless bird is actually located within dominula or the windmill village now i'm gonna go ahead and assume that you have this windmill windmill village waypoint here side of grace so we're gonna spawn right there and what we need to do is we actually need to get to the back of the village here so you can get on a horseback and just ride exactly the route that i said you don't have to fight any of these guys so you can just ride your way through here and we're just gonna blast all the way through this village all the way to the top Feel free to forward this a little bit faster if you just want to follow the route we're coming around this way and our artist is going to be at the back there we can sort of just cut around to the side here to not you know make those guys too thirsty and that's our artist right there and this is going to give us fire's deadly sin as a reward our last and final painting called sorcerer is actually located all the way at the top here in mountain tops of the giants and it's located within castle soul i'm gonna treat it as if you don't have any of these sites of grace so you're literally starting from outside castle soul and i'm gonna run you through the route to get to the painting now castle soul is one of the later areas in the game so there are quite a few tough enemies here uh, i'm not gonna fight most of them i'm just gonna run past them but bear in mind that when you come in here it might be a good idea to sort of just methodically wake make your way through it and kill the enemies enemies as you go so not to have a problem so we're just going to come in we just came in straight into the castle went to the left we take our first door here we're going to go up this ladder here hopefully not get bitten by anything and once we get to the top we're going to have to move along the ramparts a bit until we get to an area where we can drop down but you'll see what I mean. We go around to the top here. We cut to the right. And we cut to the left. Like I said, will be some enemies here. You're going to have some cro crossbows shooting at you from across the way. So do your best to avoid that as well. And another one shooting from the top there. Now, as you can see, you can take quite a bit of damage here from enemies. So like I said, be careful. There's also guys throwing you with molotovs from the top here. So again, just making it past them. And where you're looking to go down is actually this ladder here so i'm just going to go ahead and drop down and our painting is located inside this room and this is the sorcerer painting of course once you're done you can just dip out of this door here now conveniently enough the sorcerer painting's artist location is actually within the same area and kind of sits on this little bridge that goes across here so again starting us off from the castle soul main gate we're simply just going to mount up and we can literally just ride around to it so it's just a little bit of a trip Feel free to forward this part as I make my way to the bridge and we can get the artist. Now this is actually going to give us the Great Hood as a reward and that's going to be as I said the last painting and we're going to be done. So again as mentioned we are just riding around the bottom here. And we'll go up here. See, and that's the bridge we're looking for so again sort of just make our way up the mountain here and that's it so this is the little bridge that goes across and our artist is going to be sitting right over here and again as mentioned that gives us the great hood now that's it for the paintings the video and me thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far hopefully this helped you locate some of these that you might be missing let me know if you have any additional questions in the comments down below or if i didn't explain something well enough but as always it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning a great afternoon and a super awesome evening wherever you are in the world and until next video 
Fucking cheers. They want the best of me now. Best of me now. Best of me now. Best of me. They want the best of me now. Best of me now. Best of me now. Best of me. They want the best of me.